Hi, I'm Rich Tannis. And I'm Rod Tannis. And we're the RC Twins. Yes, we are. And we're going to do another video, I guess. And you know, it would be awesome if you like this video, hit that like button right down there at the bottom. And the subscribe uh, button is very important to us. And then the, yeah. uh, the bell, the bell would be important. And leave thing. a comment, you know, all and, over the place. And then go ahead and share it. Those of you that are on all those other platforms, please share it out there. Facebook, everything else. Reddit. we got to get to a thousand subscribers, and that's our goal. That's it. You'll hear about 6S, 12S, um, uh, 14S, yeah. all that kind of, let's talk about what that is. It's the number of cells, right? So this battery has six cells in it. There's six separate packs in here that create power, right? Um, each of them are uh, around 4.2 volts fully charged. This battery, you can see the difference. Six cell, four cell, right? And you go all the way down to this one, two cell right so each cell still has the same amount of voltage when it's fully charged 4.2 volts right right around in there round numbers right so if you want to do 12s you're going to need two six cells right well how 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 does this happen you know well you need something that's either a y connector like this or a wireless connector like this all right a series style connector. So here's what happens, right? So it starts out at the uh, at the airplane, okay? And here's your here's your 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 positive lead and your negative lead, right? So it's coming up the coming up the positive lead, out the negative lead, into the positive section here, out the negative and back down here. So it's a a, a Y type shape, right? So you got power going going out and power coming in you know you through the two batteries out. that's right so we're going to take and do this um, I'm not afraid to hook this up because it's not connected to anything all right but uh, okay now if I connect to this that's 44.4 volts is going to be there right now and if I connect that up to uh, an ESC like this one here's my two leads and I connect it up to there that's going to be running on 12S. Six cells, six cells connected in series. And then you get 44.4 volts, 12S. And that's, that's, uh, that's how that works, 44.4 volts, 12S. So if we wanted to have uh, a lot of our planes, we'll have four or maybe even six batteries in them. What we're doing there is we've got parallel plugs okay so we go through the series now we got 12s right but what we do here is we put a parallel plug on here right so now we plug in a battery there we plug in a battery over here and this side over here same thing Parallel plug. I gotta put a P on them because they make these in series as well. And uh, there we go right there. Another six cell on here. So now you still got the same voltage number. Still 44.4 volts yeah. coming out of there. But now we're paralleled here and paralleled here. So we've got each of these is 5,000 milliamps, so yep. now we've got 20,000 milliamps to work with here. Why would you do that? Well, just simply flight time. So we would just, uh, if we put a, we've got a great big giant scale airplane, for example. Yeah, where the uh, weight doesn't matter. Yeah, we see a big Sky Raider up there, we, you know, yep. we've got a Texan up in here, um, other things. If we want to have longer flight time on something, get up there and let her roar for a while, all of a sudden, our flight time went from on a warbird because we got you know we're just hammering uh, full throttle. We went from uh, uh, a seven or eight minute flight uh, on a pair of batteries uh, all the way to an eleven to fifteen minute flight on four batteries. And, right. uh, and some of the motors are very very big. This motor right here, great big side, right? So yeah. this is going to generate around eleven thousand, twelve thousand watts. 
Right. And, uh, and then you're just simply going to need more power. You're going to need uh, more longevity and more power. Right. So now we understand what 12S is, how to parallel batteries. So let's say you want it to go all the way up to 14S. Well, how do you do that? All right. Hang on. All right, so we're going to show you how to get to 14S. This particular controller, made by Fire Model, goes all the way to 16S. Where does it say that? Yeah, you right, right there. You can say 3 to 16S. Oh, yeah. So, okay. what does the 14 and the 16S do for you? It's all about RPM. So, the more volts that you supply to the motor, the more RPM that you get. Uh, substantial yep. more RPM and that may be an advantage in some of the airplanes you can actually put a smaller propeller on uh, with less pitch and get more speed out of the whole thing because you have more RPM to work with so how do I know how how do I know how much I can put on a motor I mean if it's if you know you can say okay I got 14 s and 16 right. how do I know I can get away with that well um, well roasted uh, that's out there has a has a rating um, the uh, the documentation that comes with this motor says you can only put 6s on it all right so uh, uh, documentation that comes with this one says you can actually put only 10s on it that says but we've shown that we've run these Tomcat G160s uh, and also the e-flight uh, uh, 160 motors we've run on 12s you just have to be a little bit careful that you don't stand on them wide open all the time uh, or you can burn them up, all right? But mm -hmm. you get a lot more power, a lot more watts are going to be applied then um, if you can get more more voltage. So uh, this these motors here can run up to 14S. Uh, they're rated all the way to 14S. So uh, it'll say 50 volts or 60 volts. And that means, okay, that's more than 12S. Uh, you're going to add 4.2 volts times... Um, 14 and that's going to get you up there at 51 or whatever uh, 51.8 volts and uh, that means you can run this on 14s if you like um, this particular motor uh, CA 120 motor um, in uh, 150 kV uh, we've got this on a big Pawnee and we do run that on 14s we made a special propeller that we can run uh, uh, 9,000 some odd RPM. And so that was beneficial for us to have more RPM. Hmm. So um, so that's why yeah. we want to run it on 14S as opposed to... Yeah. I know what the S stands for. That's actually, it's it's smoke. It's it, That's what the motors run on is magic smoke. No, they don't. Yeah, they, I can prove it, okay? Because, you know, when the magic smoke comes out, they stop running immediately. <laughs> yeah, every time. It, it, yeah. yeah, and we both know that. The, yeah, it's magic you know, smoke. The, uh, it's magic smoke. smoke comes out. They're all yeah. contained X amount of ounces of magic smoke. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and, and once yeah, the smoke when it comes out, out yeah, it's yeah. all done. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's over. The magic's gone. Okay, well, maybe not. Yeah, right. Okay. So anyway, all right, let's get back around to this original thing here. So how do we get to 14S then, right? So the Y mm. connector got us to 12S, right? So it's connecting two six-cell batteries together in series, not in parallel, in series. So we're adding all of that up, right? So adding yeah. those two six-cells together. So, so I got this. We, we just take two of our seven cells. They do make it's, stuff. Well, yeah, but we don't have any of those, so now what? No. So anyway, you can actually come up with any combination, and here's the key. All right, if you're putting cells together, whether you're making 12S, 14S, 16S, 18S, all right, some of the, uh, some of the uh, jets uh, that are out there, they're running 18S, and they, they can get all the way on up to... Uh, um, 78,000 RPM by getting 18S to it, um, higher RPM motors, right? And so it's all about revs, right? Well, here's the important part. Look at this battery here, six cell battery, right? 5,000 milliamp. Four cell battery, 5,000 milliamp. Another four cell battery, 5,000 milliamp. See a trend here? All of them, yep. 100 C batteries. All so it's the not the number of rate. cells, it's actually the milliamps. That's right. When you connect them together, they must all be the same milliamp, and they should all be the same C rating. Otherwise, one will want to discharge faster than the other or is able to, 
and that control the whole works out of balance. So okay. that is the rule of combining batteries, either the 12S, 14S, 16S, 18S. All the batteries must be the same milliamp rating and all should be the same C rating. So um, uh, as far as brand goes, we've run multiple brands and all that, but they were all the same C rating. And that is the critical part right there. Uh, we happen to have some that are all the same brand right here. So this is how that gets done. Just like how we did uh, two batteries, right? Two six cells, put them through a Y, 12S, because it's adding this six cell battery and this six cell battery, 12S, right? Simple, same thing, mathematics apply, only instead of having a Y, kind of have to have a W, all right? So there it is, Y, W, right? And if you look at it, just like the Y connector ran, you know, runs out, runs across, runs back, right? All right, you can see the ESC uh, positive lead is right here, right? So here's where the W formation starts out for 14 or 16S. Here's the positive side of that plug, right? And the red runs out to a positive here, comes to the negative, negative goes up to the positive, comes out of the negative, goes down to the positive, comes out of the negative, and goes back to the negative lead here. Mm -hmm. And that connects them together in series, not in parallel, in yep. series. So this uh, setup right here, here we go. Uh, we'll run uh, we'll run these, and uh, I actually have them labeled, okay? This one says six cell on it, and it doesn't matter uh, what order you put them in either. Um, they, they, uh, they, you can have a four cell and a six cell and a four cell. This is just the way I'm going to do it right here, right? So four cell right here, right? And then uh, here we go, another four cell, right? So um, um, now they're all connected together, right? So the power is running from here to here to here and back to this plug. Simple as that. And now you're adding all of these cells together, right? Four, four, and six is 14S. It really is. So we can run 16S, then you run a four and a six and a six. And if you run 18S, six, six, six. Just as long as those milliamps and C rating are the same. Yeah, okay, so that's all of 12S, 14S, 16S, 18S, that's how you get there.